Honestly, Byron, how selfish can one man be? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Brianna Gray. Those watching right now, I got a little sax man fact that you may or may not know. Byron used to be a pageant judge. Oh, yes. As a former pageant judge, uh -huh. how do you score? Ariana Grace. Let's see, I'm looking at the poise of Ariana Grace, the elegance, the confidence, the dexterity, the overall presence. I would rate Ariana Grace, oh, I'm watching Sierra. Okay. I would watch, I would rate Ariana Grace a 10 out of 10, Vic. JC Jane. Actually, 11 out of 10. Probably why you don't do pageants. I, however, will not ask you to score the dating advice given. Why not? By Jay well, all right. You want to hear some? You want sax to man, hit me with some dating advice. How about, how about sax lover? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> street name. They call me sax lover. When no one has name. ever called you A sax lover. They're out there. They know. So, what's your question? Let's move on. Ahead of the pressure. Love advice. Maybe the dating advice wasn't sound by J.C. Jane, so how would you rate the dating advice given to Thea Hale? I think perhaps she was misinterpreted. Okay, that's fair. This is this is new ground for Thea Hale. So I gather that she doesn't go on many dates, and I, I think J.C. Jane has her best intentions, but I think perhaps Thea Hale took it a little to the extreme and made things super awkward for Riley Osborne. Sax lover, huh? I sax lover. I can't wait to get a text message from Corey Graves here in about 10 minutes. But, you know, there's a lot on the plate for J.C. Jane as well. And you can take a look at the advice. You can agree with it. You can disagree with it. But you can't argue the fact. J.C. Jane single-handedly saved Chase University. And I said it last week, and I'll say it again this week. In my humble opinion, J.C. Jane is the governor. New MVP of Chase U because of the fact that she was able to save this institution of higher learning. Well, Chase University is able to become the new number one contender for the tag team titles. Thanks to Duke Hudson. I don't think this has ever worked out well for Grace, who goes throat first over that middle rope right in front of Nix and Thea Hale. JC Jane. Hoping for a little assistance there. Well, sure, we get disqualified. The official's looking right at the air. Smart from the air. Hell yeah. Don't, don't, don't put your hands on the Ariana Grace. Well, Jay now going to the outside. is going to get Grace back into the ring. I want to talk about Thea Hale, though, for a second. Should she be worried after her date? There is a little room for concern, but I feel like if they have another outing together, they can clear up some misunderstandings. Thea Hale now has a lay of the land a little bit, and they'll have a much better experience. I don't know, man. I told you two weeks ago, perfect season. No, and what I tell you, mini golf. Oh, that was a senton. That's a cover, a hook of the leg, and a near fall. Never been on a mini golf date that went wrong. Her shoulders being shifted here by Grace, and, and when it comes to this matchup, Grace talked herself into it. And it's one more time as her shoulders down again. Nice job by J.C. Jane not to have to relinquish the hole to cover of her own. Crucifix-esque kicking out was Grace. She again talks herself into issues that maybe she doesn't need to be. Well, uh, despite my scorecard, yes, that is a slight flaw of Ariana Grace. Sometimes her mouth and mind are not on the same page. Well, why not just stay quiet? I mean, you don't always need to voice your opinion off the elbow into the cover. Jane kicks out it's like Booker T says, mind your business. This is a world where you are judged and graded on your verbal ability as well as your inhibit abilities. So Ariana Grace is using all of her attributes to succeed in our world. Why are you looking down on it? That's quite a match that we have had here. And to be fair, Grace has really answered the bell since the beginning, but just unceremoniously dumped by J.C. Jane, who goes back to the outside of Force NXT Women's Championship matchup still to come. Shotzi challenging Lyra Valkyria. A nice sharp elbow by J.C. Jane. Right in front of Nix, in front of Thea Hale. Jane again charging out. Oh. This is gonna One chill. more time. She's trying to. Jasmine Nix! 
Apparently Jasmine got the message from Grace Jane. Well, Thea Hale did not. It's really not her MO to cut corners, but the door open in this match just got slammed shut. Now you see why. Jane tried to run the play twice. It didn't work the first time, but probably executed the second. Called in a new player to get it done. I, uh, you would think that JC would know Thea Hale by now, that Thea would... Oh, that was interesting. Thea would not opt for those antics, but... Uh, and JC Jane continuing to come up roses here in NXT. Jasmine Nix to the rescue, and to be fair, that's just the first win possibly for Chase U here tonight.